If you're an athlete, you know the greatest motivator of all is the fear of letting your teammates down. After all, a team is only as good as its weakest link. So you owe it to those wearing the same jersey as you to be your best every time you step on the field. That's why there's no vape in team. When you vape, you can expose your lungs to toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs. If you're a step behind, the team's a step behind. Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. In breaking news, leading scientists worldwide are conducting experiments to determine if Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. However, it appears the study was inconclusive, as the scientists couldn't help but eat all the Reese's. Because when you want something sweet, you can't do better than Reese's. Find Reese's now at a store near you. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. And in today's episode, so if you guys follow me on Twitch, then you already have seen that I bought Elden Ring. And here's the thing, you know, I want to like that game. I really do. I want to like it. I want to sit down. I want to play it. I want to get through it, all that stuff. The problem that I have is that I don't understand why the game is so difficult. You know, like, me and a friend of mine's, um, V, um, you know, actually, uh, shout out to her if you guys, like I said, again, follow me on Twitch, then you already know who V is, but anyways, um, she recently had, uh, got, I don't know if she recently got it or if she's been had it, and, uh, but regardless, she was playing it, dealing with the same exact thing, difficult, and it's something where I'm like, look, I understand that the game requires a challenge but at the same time it doesn't need to be challenging for everybody you know like you like it that's something that i always loved about video games is that there are games out there where they got an easy difficulty they got a normal difficulty where it's like it's not too easy but at the same time like you are gonna be able to get through this game and then they got hard where it's all like you know you really gonna have to be strategic when playing this game now i get that that is the idea with elden ring but you would think that at some point in time, you have to know that people are going to be playing this game for the first time. And not just the game itself, but that genre. Now, I only time I played a Souls like or not Souls, um, is it do they call it that? Like Soul like or Dark Souls? I, I don't know. But regardless, that genre of games, like of talking on Elder Ring and stuff. I did play Dark Souls uh, 2 years I think it was either Dark Souls 1 or 2, regardless of whichever one it was. But I played it years ago, and I seen how difficult that game was, and I ain't full with it. Now, you would think that in this day and age, I don't know, maybe I should go back and play Dark Souls. It might be easier than uh, Elden Ring. If not, then it's like, it's just crazy to think that years and years done pass with these games, and it's like you still haven't gotten the idea that there are going to be people playing this game for the first time. Now, it's very frustrating to me because it's like, I bought this game. I want to support this game. I want to enjoy myself playing this game. But it's like, when you got bosses in the game where they can take you out in two hits, but I have to, like, take them out in 100 million hits... How, how is that going to be fun? You know, like, if there's... Because that, that's something that you got to ask the developers. It's like, has there ever been a time where you tried doing something and you kept messing up over and over and over and over again? Not nah, yes. At the end of it all, when you finally figure it out, when you finally get it fixed, whatever it is, or you accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's very rewarding. It's like, oh my God, finally. But for the most part, you know, I usually like getting things done first try yeah i might mess up a couple of times but it's like fam it should not be a situation where it's like i go into because my thing is this if i'm going into something that's impossible i'm not even gonna fool with it you know so that that's probably the the bright idea that i should be doing is not even fooling with elden ring i shouldn't be playing that game but it's like i want to you know and, and that's the thing where it's like i'm not trying to you know what no i ain't gonna lie I am trying to tell the developers what they need to do with that game, especially for somebody that's just starting off. You should not have it where 
if I go up against some tutorial boss, I could take them out, no problem. But then once when I get out in the real world, that's where all the problems and all the... No, bruh. No. If I... My thing is this. If I have my way of doing something, it shouldn't be no problem about it. But it's like you're having people buy this game and you're forcing them to play in a way where it's like i gotta go watch it no that's the, so that's the crazy thing about it so that's something i'm gonna actually talk on that but anyways i go on youtube i watch this tutorial they said oh in order to take because it's like the first boss that you come across when uh playing the game so there and it's like this big giant gold guy on a golden horse and all that crap so they say you're supposed to go to these like three i'm gonna call them campsites i can't remember the exact name of it but i'm gonna call it campsites so you're supposed to go to these three campsites you talk to this woman she ends up giving you a horse so you get a horse then you gotta kill off these uh like guards knights whoever they're supposed to be and stuff you gotta kill off these guards and then you get this sword i'm gonna tell you this right now that sword I felt like that it did worse than the other than the sword that they start you off with. I start as a samurai, so I don't know if it like if it's uh, different for every character that you decide to play as. But I start off as a samurai, so they gave me a sword. I don't know if it's different elsewhere, but that's how I started off. But it shouldn't be a thing where it's all like, oh, the best person you guys start off with is this guy because they're more strong. No, bro. If I want to play as a samurai, I should be able to play as a samurai. It shouldn't be somewhere it's like, I'm required to do this. I'm required to do that. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Fam, do you think, honestly though, you do you think people would like racing games if they're all like, oh, the best car that you gotta get to win all the races is the Koenigsegg Agera R? Because that's, that's the fastest car in the game. Bruh, I don't want to use that. I want to use a Ford Mustang. See, for an example, like, talking on the video game Forza, um, just, yeah, Forza. You know, like, they got Forza Motorsport. They got Forza Horizon. They got... 400 different cars on there now i imagine with all the different characters that they uh have in elden ring that you can play as and all the weapons and the armor and all they got a lot of different ways that you can customize your character and all that stuff now obviously you're gonna customize them to the point where they're good like you know they can take out any and everybody no biggie no problem you know but it's like they should have it where when you're starting off on that game, it don't when you get like yeah later on in the game like towards the end, that's when it's like okay I gotta build up uh my character should already be built up so it's like yeah have it where the challenges that I'm facing at the beginning of the game I should be facing that towards the end of the game. But see that's the thing though where it's like there's other games even um outside of like Forza Destiny for an example where it's like yeah they'll have it where you start off you're kind of learning the game you're figuring it out and all that stuff but they're not gonna put you there have been times where it's like yeah you might stumble in an area where there's a enemy a little bit stronger than you but you know that you understand that you're like okay well i gotta get my skill up before i go up against this guy so that's what i'm gonna have to do with elden ring i'm gonna have to get my skill up how long is that gonna take i i would like to just overall know how long will it take to get 100 percent completion how long will it take to get 100 percent completion in elden ring around 133 hours do you honestly think a person is trying to sit down for 133 hours where there's hundreds of other games that i got there's hundreds of the other games that's going to be coming out this year next year and every other year after that but it's like do you honestly think a person wants to sit down and spend all that time it's like i'm not trying to speed run the game but at the same time it's like i would like to just be able to enjoy the game at my own pace you know, but it's like, I should be able to, my, the thing is this, you pay money for a game, you should be able to play that game however you want to play it. I get that you're the developer, I get that you're the genius, I get you, that you're the, the brains behind this video game, but you have to understand that not everybody is going to be on the same mindset as you or the best Elden Ring player of all time. I'm not trying to be that guy where it's like, yeah, if I die a couple of times, I die a couple of times. I'm okay with that. But that should be later on in the game. Like, halfway through the game, if I get killed, okay, so be it. I get killed. No biggie. I ain't even gonna trip about that, you know? But it should not be in the beginning of the game. Numerous times, even with help. That's not fun, bro. That's there is it, there is nothing fun when the game is pretty much limiting you, and then it's like you gotta start the thing all over again. How is that fun? 
How is any of that fun? Yeah, I guess, yeah, going around exploring, get my character all leveled up, then coming back to the guy. Yeah, that, but it's like, why though? Why even have him, did, why not have it instead of turning it around and having it where I'm going up against the boss? How about have it where it's like I built my character up, then I come across the guy on the um, giant golden horse and he got gold armor and all that stuff. You see my point? It's like, th there's so many different video games that have came out where it's like, they're not going to have it. Because imagine if you're playing, just think of every single video game out there. Do you honestly think video games will be where it's at today if every video game was like Elden Ring? There's only a small percentage of games that's like Elden Ring. But imagine every video game in this world that's like Elden Ring. Now, some people may say that that's a good idea. No, it is not. It is not a good idea. Because I, if I'm playing Forza, now I'll admit, when I, I remember when I very first did get into Forza, it was confusing. It was a little, um, like, I was like, I don't know what I'm getting into. Why are the cars slow? Because I came from, like, the arcade-like games where it's, like, a uh, 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 Midnight Club or let me think of some other um, racing games. Like, But, yeah, like, you know, just simple racing games. I played Forza, and that was different for me. You know, I'm not used to doing 60 miles per hour in a car. I'm used to doing three, four, five hundred 500 miles per hour in a car, you know? But... Imagine, I'm, I'm going to list out every single video game out there. Every single video game where it like it has this challenging difficulty like Elden Ring, starting off with Forza. Now imagine you start up this racing game. You're like, oh man, this game's so fun. They got all these different cars. They got all these different combinations, all these different things that you got to do, blah, blah, blah. So you go and you get, let's say you get a Corvette. Corvette, not the fastest car in the um, world, but it's also not the slowest. It's a, it's a good standard racing car right as soon as the race starts yeah you're doing your first race as soon as the race starts your car it's not as fast as the other they pretty much got you going up against the most ultimate fast car like the most ultimate bugatti the most ultimate Koenigsegg. and they're expecting you to play this game for 133 hours just to end up in what second place maybe it's like you're like you're literally inches um, from like being in second place or yeah, like you're like you just you just made it to first place You just made it to first place. Do you honestly think people are trying to sit down and do all that? No, they're not I guarantee and I promise you they're not let think let's think of some other game grant that Auto. Let's say they let's say you go and you're uh, yeah Like let's say they come out with a grant that Auto game where it's like it's just like Elden Ring You create a character they put you out in the real world all of a sudden your character gets stabbed and you end up and it's It's literally every time when you just you just take a foot out onto the sidewalk You either get shot at stabbed ran over with a car like all the crazy things that happens in grant that Auto. Do you think you're gonna sit down and play that like think of all the crazy if you've played Grand Theft Auto multiplayer, if you play Grand Theft Auto online, and you've seen where people, when it's like you come up out the uh, um, the pay and spray um, place where you customize your cars and stuff, like you come up out of there and then you got full blown uh, giant tank waiting for you to blow you up. Do you think you're gonna want to play the game if it's doing that? That's Every time you play the game, yeah, you might kill one person, you might kill another person, you might take out a few, because no, in Elden Ring, yeah, there were um, some of the guard people that I did take out. That was about it. I killed the, I think it was a sheep too, but that was by accident. I'm aiming for the boss, but it's like, fam, it should not be that difficult. It shouldn't. Uh, what are some other uh, video games? Uh, let's say The Sims. Let's say every time when you start that game, it's like it's always something challenging. They, you list out every video game, a uh, supermarket simulator, power wash simulator. Let's say it's just all these, di all these games that exist in the world all have this like difficulty about it where it's like and they and they probably do they probably do have this form of difficulty but it's like at least you're able to get it to that point you can make the game difficult if you want to you can face that challenge but it's like Elden Ring fam overall the point that I'm trying to make is that they need to make that game easier because I you know and it's and that's something that I was like I was telling my friend about it today he was all like, bro, if Kai Sinat can do it, I know you can do it and stuff. Because I play a lot of different video games. It ain't like I'm just brand spanking new to video games. So it's really, like, unmotivating when I'm playing a game. And it's like, okay, I done played, fam. If you guys, if you, no, follow me on Twitch. But if not that, go to my gaming channel. Search up my gaming channel, T Moss Boss Gaming. Fam, I have played games, and just even now, having a PlayStation 3 that can play PlayStation 1, 2, and 3 games, I got a Nintendo Switch. 
I got an Xbox 360, I got an Xbox Series X, I got a PlayStation 5, and then yeah, the Xbox Series X, it can play Xbox, OG Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X games. Fam, it's not like I'm new to the gaming world. I have been playing video games a good majority of my life. Ever since I was maybe like, I think, two or three years old. I have been playing video games ever since then, bruh. Ever since then. I, I still remember playing uh, 007, Mario Kart, Mario 64, Fast Forward, get a PlayStation 2. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I'm playing and beating video games, bro. I have I just recently picked up the very first game that I've ever beaten, and it was 50 Cent Bulletproof. I just recently picked that game up. Now, it's I, I don't know what's going on because I was like, maybe it's just I, I'm missing something in the game. But it's like, okay, the thing is this. If I'm missing something, guess what? I'll figure it out. I'm like, it ain't like the area that they got me at. It's a big old giant area. I don't know nothing. I got to play 133 hours just to unlock a door, you know, or it's like, I got to, let me think of, uh, Ma or yeah, Mario Kart. I got to go through 133 hours just to get the best uh, character in Mario, uh, Mario Kart and the best kart. I got to play 133 hours of Grand Theft Auto just to complete the first mission. Y like, come on now, Really? It's one of those things where it's like, fam, you have to understand where I am coming from, bro. It's not because I know there's going to be people out there. They're going to be saying any and everything to defend this game. And it's like, look, you're a fan of the game. Cool. Be a fan of the game. I'm not trying to take that away from you. But people like myself that has played this game and you face nothing but challenges you can't even get past the first boss and then that's what another friend was telling me that you don't have to go up against that boss but i'm like but bro they have it in the game if i don't have to go up against him why is he even here why are we even having problems with one another why is it always an on-site situation you see it's like bro i'm just trying to play a game get through the story see all the different things that they got i can't even get past the first area but it's and it's like it's not it's gonna feel pointless i'm it, am i gonna have to do that with every single boss in the game like because it's like okay if he's a little side um mission right and then there's some other mission in the game where it's like okay let's say the first actual boss all right if he ain't the first boss let's say the first actual boss the actual first mission and things yeah it might be easy yeah it might be hard regardless of the situation it's like am i gonna have to skip every single boss and just pretty much just oh i i, I beat the game without killing any bosses Bruh, that's, that's not fun. It shouldn't be a situation where I gotta skip this area, I gotta, do, and then come back to it later on. Bruh, I'm gonna be, if I'm, if I'm going in a certain direction, I am going forward in that direction. I don't wanna keep backtracking, oh, I've, th this boss is difficult, now I gotta go play 133 hours of the game, come back to that boss. Bro, no, bro, no. If you got people out there, that's the thing that trips me out. You got people out here playing this game with their mind. You got people out here playing this game on a Dance Dance Revolution thing. And I know people are going to probably be all like, well, then it's easy then if they're doing all. No, bro. It's like you're adding more challenges. I am trying to take away what them people are doing. But it's like, fam, you got all these people doing all these different things. It's like, of course, a person is going to look at it and be all like, oh, well, let me play this game. Let me see what it's all about. I get me. How much is a PlayStation Edge controller, a PlayStation 5, a PS5 Edge controller? How much is the retail price of this controller? Because it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you got the best PlayStation controller possible. This controller is scrolling scrolling fine by by now okay yeah let's let's just see by now i am not trying to buy a charging station i'm trying to see how much this controller is okay i guess all right here we go i just accidentally scrolled past the uh buy now thing for the 199 uh 99 so it's like you telling me that a 200 dollar controller you got people that can beat this with a dance dance revolution controller you got people that can beat this game with their mind you Excuse me, you got people that can beat this game with their voice. I get me a $200 controller, not for Elden Ring, just to get the $200 controller and just be like, yeah, I got the best PlayStation controller out there. But it's like, I go and I get Elden Ring, okay? And I get this $200 controller. You mean to tell me I still can't get through this game? What's the point of even playing it then? You know, it's like, that's something where it's like, you got to ask the developers. It's like, has there ever been a time where you went up against a golden man on a golden horse and you could not defeat him? Or you had to go through 133 hours of your life to figure out how to beat this man and then come back to him? 
fam, if I'm going forward in life, I'm not even going to be focused on that, man. But it's like, if you've never done that, fam, it shouldn't be a situation where it's like, okay, I got to do it, but I got to have some challenging uh, moment with it. No, bruh. Games, I'm, look, I'm telling you right now, games... If I'm, if it's, I, even if the game is free, the fact that I'm downloading this game or just overall getting into this game, fam, I am getting into this game. I'm not going to have it where it's like, if I, if I welcome a person into my house, they got to do 500 pushups before, uh, coming into my house. And then if they can't do it, they got to spend 133 hours into the, um, in the gym just so they can come into my house and do, uh, 500 pushups. Then, then if they want to go, um, into the kitchen, they got to do, um, a thousand uh arm curls with a hundred pound weights so they gotta spend another 133 hours in the gym where they gotta watch a speed run on and so here's the thing this is why i actually wanted to talk on about youtube because you know the thing that frustrates me about um games like that is that you're constantly having to go on youtube and look up how to do this how to do that how to get this boss how to get that boss how to get this weapon how to get that um that weapon how to get this armor how to get that armor I should not have to spend more time watching a YouTube tutorial or multiple YouTube tutorials on just beating one boss. One boss. That is something where it's like, man, come on now. Really? Really? You making a game that difficult and it's like, for what? What is the point? It wouldn't even, the thing is, is this, regardless if the game is crazy difficult or it's the easiest game in the world, people are still going to like this game. It doesn't need to be that challenging at all. And here's the thing, people can say any and everything that they want trying to argue with me and it's like, fam, I spent $40 on this game. I waited hours for this game to download on my PlayStation. I created a character so I can go and explore and do whatever. I'm investing my time into this game. So I should be allowed. My thing is this. If you paying rent for an apartment, you know, you should be allowed to put whatever furniture in there and have it. But it's all like, what if the like, let, that's like if you're renting out an apartment and the landlords are like, oh, you got to go through all these obstacles just to open up a window. You got to you got to do this to go in the bedroom. You got to do that to go in the kitchen. You honestly think you're going to want to live in that apartment? And it's like, yeah, there might be some people that's up for the challenge, but not everybody. Not everybody that's just trying to just simply have fun. And it's like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like you can't just listen to just like, oh, the, the yes men and the everybody that's just going. No, you got to listen to the people like me that's playing your guys' game for the first time. Yeah, listen, if you want to listen to the yes men, listen to the yes men. That is 100% okay. But also, you have to listen to the people that are facing challenges. My thing is, is this. Because I know people will probably try to throw it back in my face. And they try to put me in some situation. You put me in any situation possible. If there is an easier way of doing something. That's like, okay. That's like saying a foreigner uh, is watching one of my YouTube videos. Like, let's say it's somebody over in France. They only speak French. They don't speak not w one lick of English. They only speak um uh, French, right? So... I didn't, like, hit my table with my knee, but I'm, I'm chilling. I'm good. It was, it was like, one of those, like, it sounded like it was loud, but it, it, it I promise you it did not hurt, all right? So, anyways, it sounded like it should have hurt, but I promise you it did not hurt. But anyways, let's say this person is watching my uh, videos, right? They're watching my videos, but as you guys can hear my voice, I'm speaking English, right? So, what should that person overall do? Spend 133 hours learning English or simply press the C button and get captions across the uh, screen where it's French um, captions. It's uh, it's French subtitles. You uh, and here's the thing: if that person wants to do that, okay, cool, let them do that. But if there is an easier way, that should be allowed too. Why would that even be a problem if that's allowed? Why would it be a problem for somebody to do something an easier way? It really trips me out. There's like, and there's people out there that will really want you to sit down and spend 133 hours trying to figure out some crap. And it's like, fam, I don't even want to spend one hour trying to figure out some crap. I'm trying to do that thing right then and there. I'm trying to have it where it's all like, okay, the thing is this. I Let's say if, you know, yeah, to beat the whole game 100% completion, you got to get 130, you get 133 hours um, done put into the game and stuff. Do you honestly think 
that everybody is gonna yeah there's probably maybe very few people that is able to they were able to do some stuff like that but do you think everybody is um able to put 133 hours in the Elden Ring like what person what person because I'm like yeah there's probably that one person where they sped run the whole game went through all the bosses got to the final boss did some special maneuver and they was like yeah and they beat the game they did everything they needed to do and they probably did it under but it's like to get 100, if you're trying to play the game like the average person, you're not going to put no 133 hours into that game. If anything, you're going to probably put 1,000 hours into that game. Because it, it's even, even, they have, bro, everything is difficult. For what? Who are you, what are you trying to prove? It's, I'm telling you, man, it's like, you look, there is no reason at all, at all, I and I mean at all, for Elden Ring to be as difficult as it is. None. Whatsoever. And people can come up with every reason possible. And they're all like, oh, well, the developer, he said this about 10, 15 years ago. That I don't care what the developer said. At the end of the day, it's not, yeah, he's playing the game. He's testing the game out. He knows how to get through all the bosses. He knows what to do. Me, that decided to go out, what was it, Thursday? I think it was, was it Thursday or Wednesday? Whichever day. I decided to go out to a Walmart and get Elden Ring. I'm the one that's playing the game. If Yeah, if I'm the developer, of course, I ain't going to say anything bad about the game. I'm like, yeah, this game's easy because I'm the one that developed it. He knows how to take these guys out. He designed the game. He developed the game. This man, yeah, he's the one that could be able to speed run this game and put 133 hours into it. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to put 133 hours trying to figure out the game. And that's just the, the beginning part. That, no, there ain't nothing fun with that. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's nothing fun with that. Any and everybody could come up with every argument. I'm still going to feel the same way. So it's like, what, anybody out there that want to argue, you can say whatever you want to say. And it can make the most amount of sense in the world. But I'm still going to feel the same way. I'm still going to be thinking along the lines like, dang, should I just give up on this game and just go and trade it into GameStops, get whatever money they get me, um, they decide to give me and go on about my business? No, I don't want to do that. Can the game just be easy for people? It's like, yeah, don't have it where it's all like, okay, you know, like, oh, you take out the guy. It should be able to, um, if he's able to take me out in one hit, I should be able to take him out in one hit. But it's like, you mean to tell me I got to learn magic. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do all these other different things just to go up against one guy. And then there ain't no telling what the next person is. If that's the first guy, I really hate to see what the last guy is going to be like. So that's what I'm saying, man. It's like games. You see all these other different games out there where it's all like they're not having it where it's this crazy difficult thing. It's like, fam, Elden Ring shouldn't be like that either, all right? So... Anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe, viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.